guys. I hope you're very well. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're okay. Uh, today is uh, Friday, so the start of the weekend. Hope you have a nice weekend. And I'm recording this video to show you a couple of things that I thought were interesting. Um, first of all, this little weed flower, this type of wildflower, it grows like crazy here. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what it is, <laughs> but it's really cool. When the temperatures start dropping and the air starts to become cooler and cooler, they they blossom like this, and it's completely covered this little corner of my garden. Uh, there we can see that yeah, it's got a nice, nice little micro microclimate where you can thrive. Anyway, so uh, that's one little thing that I want to show you and the other one is this it's a little update on my oak my little oak sapling as you can see it's doing very well I transplanted it slip transplanted it into a larger container and you can see that it's been developing nicely yeah we got the traditional sacrificial branch and uh, this growth that we got at the start of the fall season is already hardened and mature and so um, it's starting to go into dormancy anyway it's it's doing well we're gonna leave it there let's see if I can Get another shot of it so you can see it better. Okay, that's a top a container where I collect rainwater. So, oops, sorry. So there you go. The Navari or the root base is flaring out and continuing to grow. And there we have the primary structure. And a little bit of ramification and like I said the sacrificial branch growing up and up there we go yeah so next spring this will be really really interesting to work on okay so that's the first little tree that I wanted to show you and here we have another uh, this is ficus pumila creeping fig I've got it in little nursery bags, and as you can see, this is our second little little guy. It's uh, it's my fig tree, root over rock. Uh, yeah, it's cool, isn't it? The leaves in this particular species is it's always very big, but with pruning and uh, you know proper care. You can reduce the leaf size considerably and it can look very, very good, uh, very, very fast because, you know, ficus are really, really fast growers. I don't know if you can see the ramification and the structure that it has right now, but there we go. Main trunk here and then it divides into one, two, I think three. Sorry leaves are in the way but yeah we just leave it to grow this is like the previous one this is the growth from the fall season so next year we'll be pruning back a little bit so we can ramify and we can reduce that leaf size yeah that's pretty good okay so let me see if I can show you something else that's noteworthy so let's see yeah, so a couple more things. This is one of those little Japanese black pines. It's almost two years old now from seed, and you can see that it's doing very, very well. It's planted on a colander, and next year we'll start to the candle uh, to select shoots and you know, and needle pluck it so it can start to develop as bonsai. Yeah. So it's really cool. Another thing over here, remember that germination video? 
one of them already started to sprout. And this one I planted it, uh, this other seed I planted today actually. So we have a peach tree. This is uh, one of the cherries that I show you in that same video. So it's, it's, a, it's a seedling, but it'll start to grow and grow. Japanese black pine seedling doing okay, not so well, but surviving and thriving. Maybe next year it can start to grow and grow like its its brother on the previous container, you know, the previous one that I show you. They're about this one is is, is much younger. I think this is going to start growing, so yeah. Maybe we can think about changing it into another container. Uh, this is really cool. This is a Himalayan cedar, and this is actually a cutting. It rooted, and I was completely, completely surprised about it. I didn't know that conifers could root so easily, and especially from cuttings. So if you have a cedar, a Cedrus livani, or a Cedrus diodara, or a Cedrus atlantica, you can definitely take cuttings, and they, they'll take. So it's something that you can you know, consider. It's a nice little project. And finally, this little guy. This is a ficus pertusa. I wired it a little bit. We got a couple of shoots there. And we're starting to work it as a bonsai. It's growing next to a cherry blossom. So yeah, guys, it's a little a little update on some of my projects. I hope you're doing very well. And in the coming months, uh, I hope to upload more videos and show you what I'm working on in this little corner of my garden. Okay, so I hope you're very well. Hope you liked the video. Comments, doubts, suggestions, anything, drop them down below. Thank you so much for your subscriptions, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.